Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of identifying prime and composite numbers. This is standard 5.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Jalen was told to list all the prime numbers between 30 and 50. His list is shown which prime number is missing from Jalen's list. Well, we need to know the difference first between prime and composite. So prime numbers, only two factors. And those two factors are going to be one and itself. One and itself. Composite numbers have three or more factors. So let's take a look at three or more for composite. Let's take a look at all the numbers between 30 and 50, because that's what we got to figure out. So I've got 50, I've got 30, and I've got 40 right there. So let's just go ahead and put some benchmarks in there, 35, and we've got 45. So I've got 31, 32, 33, 34. Well, I know my even numbers, all even numbers are composite except for two. So I'm going to take my 32, I'm going to take that out of there. I'm going to take my 34, I'm going to take that out of there. So I'm going to just circle the ones that I know are composite. I know 35 is composite because it's a multiple of 5. I know 40 is composite. So I've got 36, that's composite. Not sure about 37. And we've got, well, they've already listed 31 up here as prime, so I'll put my prime up here. And you know what? They've already listed, there we go. They've already listed 37 up there for us, so that's prime. So I'm not sure about this 33. We'll come back to that. Let's see, we've got 38. That's going to be even. And I don't know about this 39, so I'm going to circle these here. They've already listed 41 up here as composite. Let's see, as prime, I mean, 42 is composite. They haven't listed 43. Let's see, we've got 44, that's even. And then 46 is even. 47, they've already listed that up there. So we've got 48. I know 49 is composite, that's 7 times 7. So really, we just have a few numbers to look at. So let's take a look at this 33 right here. 33. Well, can I come up with 33 any other way besides 1 times 33? And yeah, that's composite because 33 has got four factors, 1, 3, 11, and 33. So it's definitely not 33. That's composite. Our next number here is, let's take a look at this 39. Let's see what happens here. 39. Hmm. Well, it's not even. It's not divided by 5 or 10. You know what? I need to use my divisibility rule by 3. Here's a really cool trick. If a number is divisible by 3, what you need to do is you need to add the digits. So watch this. 39 is really 3 plus 9. So take your digits, add them up. If that sum is divisible by 3, then so is the number. 12 is divisible by 3, yes. So 39 is divisible by 3. And that's going to be 3 times 13. So it's kind of a weird one, but it's also composite. So that's that, that one. Let's check our 43. It's going to be 43, because look, I've already next my 49 so my 43 let's see it's not even can't be divided by two or four let's try my divisibility rule maybe maybe that will work four plus three that makes seven nope cannot be divided by three so guess what my other prime number in this list is going to be 43 because the only way that i come up with 43 is one times 43 and that doesn't really help me so my answer is going to be C, 43.